In this video, our beginner's journey continues at the Prime BJJ series in Vancouver, BC, where all white, blue, and purple belts have the option of joining the Absolute Division for a grand prize of having their registration fee waived for their next tournament. So of course, we send Joseph in to secure the title, but the road to get there isn't going to be easy. like five times, then chokes him. Like, I've got to yell at the ref to tell him to stop the match. Like, step up, Prime. After a devastating DQ in his gold medal match, will Joseph be able to pull it together for the absolute title? Dom signed him up without him knowing. And it's important to note, when we arrived at the competition, something was off with Joseph's energy levels. We need a good rest after this, after today. He's normally extremely confident. Or just have to like dominate and not get, uh, <laughs> not get thrown around. I feel like as long as I can do that, I might feel okay. I might feel okay? This is very strange for Joseph. How are you doing? And he couldn't seem to shake it. I feel pretty good. I'm like, I feel really relaxed, but I kind of want to like get fired up. You know? I feel I feel very calm, but maybe that's okay. that's okay. I'll be calm. She roll to uh, loosen up a bit, maybe. Oh, I feel loose. I'm just like I'm I'm good. I'm just gonna play with the Zen mode. This is only Joseph's second ever competition and his first points competition. So with the nerves potentially getting to him, it's a good thing that his biggest fan has shown up to help motivate him a little bit. Joseph is the biggest white guy I know, and Connor was certainly a close second, but Liam is on a whole nother level. So as they begin their gold medal match, the untested Zen Mode Joe engages in single combat with his heaviest matchup yet. And remember, Liam isn't even the biggest opponent Joseph will face today. So as they begin their match, they start with some stand-up, and you can immediately sense Joseph is going to have to dig deep if he wants to win. And I mean real deep. Joseph calls upon the Yami no Kejutsu Meathead Spaz attack. But Liam spins out of it and gets the underhook, wasting Joseph's ultimate. And Joseph, a 202 pound man getting spun around like this, is a testament to Liam's strength and also the power that these heavyweights are working with. Now what you're about to see is the position that gets Joseph DQ'd. If you're a beginner watching this, let's see if you can figure out what happens. Did you catch that? To explain, please welcome our guest speaker, Professor Jesse, to provide you with some knowledge to hopefully prevent you from getting disqualified like Joe. Professor Jesse here, one stripe white belt. When attacking the straight ankle lock, there's two things that you have to keep in mind. First of all, you can't reach. That's when your outside foot crosses over the center line of your opponent, putting lateral pressure onto the knee that can potentially cause injury if you don't know what you're doing. The second thing to keep in mind is you have to roll to the outside, not the inside. The outside is perfectly fine, but rolling to the inside will result in an automatic disqualification. This has been Professor Jesse, the one stripe white belt, on attacking the straight angle lock. <coughs> Thank you, Professor Jesse. You're so knowledgeable and handsome and articulate. Now, let's get into some absolute rounds. The absolute ascent to glory begins with some advice from our corner. Don't fucking Will Joseph heed the advice? Probably not, but let's find out. With the stretcher on standby, we begin our first round of the Absolute Division. Joseph once again attacks the straight angle and desperately tries to roll to his outside, Stand almost up. getting the tap. Joseph secures the first round victory in 43 seconds. A close call, but he definitely learned his lesson. With his first match out of the way, Joseph has about 20% left in his gas tank. He's tired and still has two matches to go. And this next match is one of the toughest and weirdest matches I've ever seen. A few crazy things transpire during this match, and they all start with this guy, Andrew, who is officially the biggest and scariest dude I've ever seen. 
What you're about to see first off is a completely dominant performance by Joseph's opponent. You can see the fatigue on Joseph's face, and his movements are slow and clunky. Because remember, he came into this tournament with low energy levels already, and this is his fourth match of the day. So Joseph is digging deep into the energy reserves to even keep up in the semi-final match. And this is where things start to get really weird. As Andrew begins his complete domination, you can see that his intensity and aggression levels are much higher than what you'd expect from a normal jujitsu white belt. But of course, it seems to be working. Andrew begins to score very early on and continues the pressure while Joseph appears to be hanging on for dear life. With an opponent this large, accepting being laid flat on your back is a foreboding sign of an impending defeat. With two minutes left in the round, Andrew transitions into mount and scores three points, bringing the score up to 8-0 and further closing Joseph's window of opportunity to amount a comeback. The window is completely shut when they award Andrew four more points for some reason. At this point, I, as well as everyone else watching, assumes Joseph's tournament is over. But then Andrew decides to get weird. You can't see it from this angle, but this is where Andrew starts whispering into Joseph's ear as he starts pounding his forearm into his face. And then Joseph catches one of the craziest breaks you could imagine. He begins to get smothered, which is not allowed at the white belt level. And as the onslaught continues, so too do the protests from our corner, until Andrew calls upon the Yami no Geijutsu meathead room choke. Super not allowed in jiu-jitsu. With 52 seconds left in the match, Andrew gets disqualificated, disqualificated, and Joseph wins. <laughs> Crazy. So after the match, the gang debriefs on what just happened. Basically, doing lots of like forearm, forearm to the face, and you know what, that's legal. But he's doing it non-stop, and then he started grabbing my face, shoving my face, trying to cover my mouth. Then chokes him. He grabbed my throat, mm -hmm. full blown. Like, I've got to yell at the ref to tell him to stop the match, like, step up, Prime, you gotta step up. And when the emotions settle, the team prepares Joseph for his final yeah, match. Fine, yeah. He's like a big, stronger guy, but he's so slow. Like, you're way faster. You just gotta move around him. Yeah. If he looks to arm drag you, you look to go to his back. You keep looking for his back, I think you'll get it. Yeah. You yeah. I am, but I do, like, feel energized. It's kind of exciting to build match. Yeah, especially this guy. And every time he snaps you down, he, he brings his arms down and up. So that's when you get your shots. No, 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 no. Go, 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 Jojo, indeed. Joseph steps onto the mats for the final time Let's today. Let's get it, Joseph. Let's get it, Joseph. Not yet, Joe. Hold on. Okay, now go. Now get it, Joe. The match begins, and both of them are already starting to breathe heavily. Be big here, Joseph. Oh, your stance a little bit, Joe. Now not only is Joseph tired, but he's also missing an eye. He's trying to get that DQ. He's found the strategy. So there's going to be a lot of stand-up this match, but listen in as our team talks Joseph through strategy the whole time. In this battle of titans, it will surely be a war of attrition. Who you're hearing in the background are Dylan and Eric, the two brown belts in our gym. As seasoned competitors, they recognize that Joseph is tired, but still push him to be aggressive. Because if either competitor is too passive, the referee will award faults, which could determine the match if it ends in a draw. And turn up the pace, they do. This is it, Joe. You got two minutes to work here, man. Let's go. Both men are clearly exhausted, but one of them has to make a move at some point to avoid another fault. Get on it, Joe. Yeah, get on it, Joe. There. Get on it, Joe. Yeah. Left shoulder, it's got to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Left shoulder, it's got to be. 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 Left sho
Ride this face away from you. Yeah, you still got it, Joseph. Keep working it. Keep crawling your fingers up to get that head. On the reset, Joseph is up 2-0. Start breathing, Joseph. 50 seconds. And with 50 seconds left in the match, Joe has to give it everything he's got. And base, Joseph. Big base here. Strong base here, Joseph. Joseph is a sweep away from having this match tied. Stay heavy first, Joseph. Position first. Hold the pressure. Yeah. Hold the pressure. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, 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 hey. Have it on your arm. Have it on your arm. Keep rolling through it, guys. Keep rolling through it. Yes. Crank it, Joe. Crank it, Joseph. Hey, get the Kamora grip. That's good. With 16 seconds left, all Joe has to do is hang on and not get swept. Hey, Joseph, don't work. Hey, work it. Hey, you're good. That's super heavy there, Joseph. Heavy, Joseph. Heavy, Joseph. Be heavy, Joseph. Well done. Let's go. And that's how Joseph, our meathead white belt hero, takes home the gold medal in the absolute division. That's good. That's good. That's great to fight, The whole team gathers around to celebrate Joseph's victory. And I couldn't be prouder. And let's not forget, <laughs> Joe's biggest fan was there to celebrate the victory too. And as we make our way to the podium to collect our medals, we run into Liam, who stuck around and watched Joseph's match too. Yeah, he showed up. That was so. With the amazing support from the team, Zenmo Joe manages to take home a silver and a gold in his first ever points competition, and of course, leaves with the title of absolute champion. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. The support and feedback we got after our first video has been absolutely amazing. So make sure you keep it up by liking and subscribing, so we can keep putting out more videos like this one. Yeah. All right. Oh shit. One, two. I'm the champion of the white belt.